how to install anaconda get started with the jupyter notebook and how to install seaborn and matplotlib libraries so let's get started so i'm sharing my screen i'm going to safari so you can go to your browser and you can search anaconda so it's showing the name of website as i had already installed so you can see the first search result as the name of the website now this is the website or the official website for installing the anaconda package so this is the website and you can click the download since i'm using a mac so i'll install it for mac if you are using some different operating system it will show you the package corresponding to that particular operating system now it's downloading so it's of around 620 mb for mac os users it may vary according to whatever operating system you are using since i have already installed i am cancelling the download but you need to complete the download so there's one other method to download anaconda if you are using a mac os and you have homebrew support so go to homebrew and search anaconda so you will get a command to install anaconda so just copy it open your terminal So I'm going to open my terminal and just paste the command and hit enter. So paste the command and hit enter. Now it's taking a little bit time here. So running view auto update. So it has updated and it's showing Cask Anaconda is already installed because I have already installed Anaconda. So it's already installed. Now let's move on to installation of libraries that are Seaborn and matplotlib you can install these libraries using pip installer package or anaconda so here i'll be installing them using pip installer package first so i need to write pip install seaborn to install seaborn so it shows requirement already satisfied because it's already installed in my system now similarly for matplotlib I have to write pip install matplotlib so it will show requirement already satisfied again because i have already satisfied these libraries now let's see how to install them using anaconda so if you want to use anaconda for installing these libraries so you need to write the command conda install seaborn and the process will take some time so there is some background process going on So there will be some processing so it shows done so it's asking for a permission to install new packages since i have already installed so i won't be proceeding with this but since you're installing it for the first time you have to proceed with y so you need to proceed with y and similarly 
you need to install matplotlib using the command conda install matplotlib so the process is similar you just need to replace seaborn with matplotlib so the command will be conda install matplotlib Let me clear the screen. Now let's open the Anaconda Navigator. So open the Anaconda Navigator and close the terminal. So I've opened the Anaconda Navigator and it's showing a lot of options, but we have to select the notebook and click launch. So it will take a minute or 30 seconds and it will open in your browser. Don't worry, this process is offline. It doesn't require internet connection. So just create a new folder wherever you want to store your code. So I've created a new untitled folder for that. So I'll just open this folder by clicking on it. So it shows the notebook list is empty and I'm going to create a new notebook now. Now this is a cell. So in this cell, I'm going to import numpy as np I'm also going to import seaborn as sns and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and I'm going to hit shift and enter to run this cell. So it gave me no error. So we have successfully imported these libraries. You can also rename the notebook by clicking on the name that is untitled. So I'm changing it to my first notebook. So now there is an assignment for you. So assignment is that you need to practice some of the problems that we already discussed in the previous lectures in Jupyter Notebook. Because if you practice more, you'll get acquainted with this quickly. So practice some of the codes we have discussed in previous lectures in Jupyter Notebook.